Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Father cares, January 29th. Store the mind with divine truth, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. 2 Peter 1 verse 4 It is the duty of every child of God to store his mind with divine truth, and the more he does this, the more strength and clearness of mind he will have to fathom the deep things of God. And he will be more and more earnest and vigorous, as the principles of truth are carried out in his daily life. That which will bless humanity is spiritual life. He who is in harmony with God will constantly depend upon him for strength. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. It should be our life work to be constantly reaching forward to the perfection of Christian character, ever striving for conformity to the will of God. The efforts begun here will continue through eternity. The advancement made here will be ours when we enter upon the future life. Those who are partakers of Christ's meekness, purity and love will be joyful in God and will shed light and gladness upon all around them. The thought that Christ died to obtain for us the gift of everlasting life is enough to call forth from our hearts the most sincere and fervent gratitude and from our lips the most enthusiastic praise. God's promises are rich and full and free. Whoever will, in the strength of Christ, comply with the conditions, may claim these promises with all their wealth of blessing as his own. And being thus abundantly supplied from the treasure house of God, he may, in the journey of life, walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, by a godly example, blessing his fellow men, and honoring his Creator. While our Savior would guard his followers from self-confidence by the reminder, without me he can do nothing, he has coupled with it for our encouragement the gracious assurance, he that abideth in me bringeth forth much fruit. Our Father cares, January 29th.